Andy, the Predator, Manzolo, Justin, the Gorilla, Moore. After an epic back and forth battle, they became close friends and training partners. Somewhere along the way, the lines became blurred. The championship gold has formed a wedge between them. What started as a respectful call out has spiraled into a bitter rivalry full of bad intentions. I feel nothing. This guy is nothing from me, literally. He was my mate, he was a friend, he was a team partner. Now I'm going to kill him. I'm not being overconfident with this. I, I just feel it's my time now. More than just a belt on the line. Pride and reputation hangs in the balance. The power and explosiveness of the gorilla versus the skill and experience of the predator. This is the battle to end the war. There is a lot riding in this fight. Andy Manzolo holds the middleweight belt and Justin Moore held the super middleweight belt. He effectively vacated the super middleweight belt through his retirement. Um, Anna Manzolo fought for the belt, won the belt, became our double champ. Oh, there's the top. Andy Manzolo with the rear naked choke gets the victory in the main event. Justin decides he, want, he wants to do that one more fight and he wants to fight the best guy. Oh, oh, it's over. So now we have the two very best guys fighting for the belt. So we really are going to find out who is the best super middleweight MMA fighter in the South. Turn back to face the mount. Elbows coming down now. And it's all over. It's all over. That French bit is, is sort of still there. I'm not sure what he's feeling about me, but he's dead for me. He shows me respect that I feel I'm for showing him that we can remain friends. He's scared of me. He just see my face and he's running away. I don't think he's going to be pushing himself like I will. And that's why I think when it comes to fight night, it's going to show who's put the work in and who hasn't. I'm bigger, stronger, sharper, technically better. If Andy makes a mistake in this fight, he's going to pay for it, simple as that. He's called the gorilla for a reason. He's going to come out the gates super hard, super quick. He will get top position and he will start punching your face in. His biggest strength is probably his biggest weakness as well. Um, the fact that he comes out the gate 100 miles an hour means he's unlikely to see a decision. If you get past that kind of seven, eight minute mark, you know, he, he's out of energy, he's got nothing left, he's in trouble. I know I never lost that belt, and I know he's trying to belt collect a little bit, and he's picking and choosing who he wants to fight. So, I mean, I'm not coming in there to give up anything, I'm coming in there to take what's mine. I'm the champion, I'm champion of Supreme, I'm like two times champion of Middleweight. I'm a super middleweight champion. I'm heavyweight champion. Everyone knows about Anna Manzolo's jiu-jitsu. He likes people to take him down. If somebody takes him down, he gets to work off his back. He knows that at some point, he's gonna ride it out, he's gonna get a deep overhook one side, he's gonna get a butterfly on the other side, and he's gonna flip that person, then he's gonna go to work. We saw it in his last fight, his arm bars are, are vicious, he nearly took the guy's arm home. Manzolo tries to get the extension, will he be able to finish the arm bar? But on the flip side of that, if Justin gets in top position and Manzolo has not got the gas in his tank to, to physically flip him over, he's gonna eat nothing but elbows until the referee comes in and saves him. So really it comes down to reputation. All that matters now is who's the best and both of these guys think that they are the best. We've all seen Andy tap the pressure, do you know what I mean? The pressure I'm going to bring and put on him is it's going to be another level of easy experience. I will let you fucking tap out. If you not tap out, I will fucking break your jaw. With all this, you're going to take my arms off, you're going to snap my legs, do this shit. When was the last we did that to anyone? You haven't done that for fucking years and it ain't about to start now. Baby Gorilla, I'm coming with full power. If you stand with me one minute, then you will not want to go to the second minute. As soon as that cage door shuts, it's me and you, and you better fucking back up what you're saying, because if you don't, you're in for a fucking rough night, and I'm coming for you. I'm coming like nightmare. Don't sleep.